Welcome to the next episode of Math for Bronze, folks. Today we're going to be examining inscribed figures. Let's start with a square inscribed in a circle. What is the area of this rectangle? Alright guys, so how are we going to solve this problem? How do we find the area of this rectangle? Well, is it just 16 times 16? 256? No, it cannot be, okay? You cannot assume that it's a square because all you know is it's a rectangle. You have to assume the minimum amount of information. Now look at that point right there. That's a midpoint, right? That's the center of the circle. So if that's a midpoint, what's that? That segment is just going to be half of 16, 8. Half of 16 is 8. So what is our diagonal going to be? Our diagonal is going to be the same as the radius. What's the radius of the circle? Well, it's going to be 8 plus 9 or 17. So that diagonal is also 17. Okay, great. So we know the diagonal. Now we can find the area of this square. Okay, now how can we find the area of that square? Well, that's the diagonal called that x. Now you can use the Pythagorean theorem. So x is the square root of 17 squared minus 8 squared. So now if you simplify that, 17 squared is 289 and 8 squared is 64. Subtract that, you'll get x is equal to, well, 289 minus 64. What's that? 225. So that's 15 for x. And so now we know the height of x. We also know the width of the rectangle. And so we know the width and the height. Well, then we know the area. The width is 16. So that's 16. And the height is 15. We just found it. It's 15. And so now we can find the area of this thing by just multiplying. Let me multiply. And so our final answer for the area of this square, of this rectangle, is going to be 240. Thanks for watching this episode of Math. This episode was sponsored by Brilliant Honor. We're going to check you out in the next one. Ian Besson plus MKO plus scaffolding equal Excuse learning. Me. We believe anyone can learn anything. That's why our motto is memorization is a crime. And that's why we partnered with Brilliant. Brilliant transforms math and science into hands-on activities so that you too can understand everything from first grade math to E equals MC squared. Barry Science Lab and Brilliant is your MKO and will give you the scaffolding to expand your ZPD until you become the next Sir Isaac Newton or Albert Einstein. Visit brilliant.org slash Barry Science Lab today. And the first 50 of you to use that link will get a 20% discount on the Brilliant annual subscription. Don't, Don't forget, forget that, that you too can, can become, become the, the next Einstein. Einstein. So, so let's, let's fall in love, love with math and science. science.